Hello and a very lovely, lovely good evening from here in Tally once again and hope that each one of you are absolutely, absolutely fine and we on our side always pray for your well-beingness. Needless to add that. So in the last, <coughs> in the last session we have had at length a very great discussion with respect to common control and when we were defining the common control we also discussed the associated what we call terms like the merger, split-offs and of course sale of division and I am very very sure that after having gone through uh, the previous session you must be feeling a bit of confidence now to face and tackle the questions, correct? So without wasting much time and without much ado, we directly come to the business end. So 2.1 is the question which we are picking up, just pay attention over this particular question wherein now we are going to make a bit more formidable our learnings with respect to what we call accounting aspects as far as common control is concerned. <clears throat> so just pay attention over here. In this question, as you can see, AB Limited has two division. It is given and division A has been making constant profit. It is also uh, given to you. Beside division B has been suffering losses. And the division wise balance sheet as a 31st of March 2023 is also presented to you. In the balance sheet, look very carefully. You have been given fixed asset, that is property, plant and equipment nowadays, as we call it. 500 is the gross figure. These are the respective figures of Division A and Division B. Of course, this is the total. And from there on, we have subtracted depreciation to the extent of 450 and 800. And this is the written down value, 50 and 200. More importantly, we are more concerned with this particular facet, written down value. Coming over to the current asset, this is with respect to what we call uh, fixed asset. Now, the second one is with respect to current asset. As far as current assets are concerned, pay care, pay attention and look carefully. You will find that the respective values are like this. 400, 1000 and 1400. Intentionally, they have given you balance sheet in a very regular form. Uh, from current asset, they have subtracted current liability, 50, 800 and 850 and net assets, that is current asset, less current liability is given to you. And by adding the written down value and net current asset, they have given you the total, what we call amount, 400, 400, 800, correct? Further, in order to finance these net assets, it has been given to you that Division A it's not having any loan, but Division B has taken loan of 600. So total organizational loan happens to be 600. Besides that capital, that is equity shares of rupees 50 each is given to you. 50 for Division A, nothing for Division B. And of course, total happens to be 50. And other equity, other equity as you are now familiar with it, correct? General reserve, reserve fund, profit and loss account, capital reserve, security premium, all such items actually are considered as other equity. 350 it has got negative but the total what we call other equity happens to be 150 this is the position as far as division wise is concerned this is the organization position this is individual position of division b and division a correct now the question says that division b along with its assets and liabilities was sold for rupees 50 lakhs to company x so this time out of two division, division B, which was suffering losses, has been sold to division X and the consideration amount is 50 lakh. A new company and X limited a new company which issued 2 lakh equity shares of rupees 10 each. The new company actually issued 2 lakh shares, 2 lakh equity shares of 20 each at a premium of 15. That means 2 lakh into 25 will make 50 lakhs, no doubt about that. So they are issuing share capital. Of course, the face value happens to be 10, but they are issuing it at a premium of 15 per share. And importantly, this consideration is being given to the members of Division B. This is, an, this is the important line because the entire scenario and the entire accounting aspect shall depend very heavily upon the fact whether the purchase consideration has been received by the demerged entity or by the members as I talked in the last session and we discussed it at great length. Correct? And then further, now we are being asked to show journal entries in the books of AB Limited that is exactly what I said in the last session that first of all we may be asked to pass the what we call entries in the books of demerged entity because AB limited now will be termed as demerged entity 
then we shall be preparing what we call balance sheet of AB Limited after the demerger. Further, in the new company's books, entries we shall have to pass and balance sheet we shall have to prepare. And all those four things are being asked in this particular question. So this is the situation. So first of all, as usual now, I will keep these sheets uh, here, okay? Lots of sheets lie, as you know. This is section 2 now, correct? So far, the question which we did related to section 1, wherein we did almost 7 in-class question and total question were 11, correct? Now, section 2, we are moving over to. We have divided the entire what we call chapter into sections, as I have already told you. This is section 2. This section deals with common control, correct? Common control. And here we are also discussing demerger, sale of division and split off as we talked about in the last session too. Now as far as this particular question is concerned, this is question number 2.1. Let me first of all write question number 2.1. In this question, what is the situation so far? We have been given that there is an entity by the name of AB Limited. AB Limited is an entity and further it is given to us, where is my scale? Scale I am not able to locate today. Correct? If I am not able to locate today's scale, then it will become problematic for me. But anyway, I will use this pen. AB Limited has two division. it is given to us. Correct? It has got two division, division A and division B. Division A is earning profit while division B is suffering losses. So the management of the company decide to sell off this particular decision, this particular division, this particular division has been disposed of, sold to a new company. This division has been sold to Z Limited. To Z Limited. This is the new company, Z Limited, correct? This division is sold to Z Limited. This is new company. If you remember in the last class what I talked about, after the sale of this division, this entity will be known as demerged entity. And this process of selling the division to this particular entity will be known as sale of division. It could be also termed as process of demerger. It could be also termed as split off because this division is now split off from this organization. Importantly, in this question, we have been given that new company is offering the purchase consideration not to the demerged entity, rather to the members. This is the area where we need to keep high amount of attention. Members of AB Limited. Members of AB Limited means members of demerged entity. So purchase consideration is not received by demerged entity. Rather consideration is received by members. Consideration has been given to the members of AB Limited. This is what exactly in the question was written. Once again I will reflect that line to you. B Division along with assets and liabilities was sold for 50 lakhs to X Limited. And new company which issued 2 lakh equity shares or rupees 10 each at a premium of 15 per share to the members of B division. To the members of B division. Now this is very important line. Further, it is also given that in both the cases balance sheet to be prepared under schedule 3 division 2. So it is quite natural because the companies nowadays follow what we call NDAs and under NDAs we are supposed to prepare the financials, correct? as per division 2 so i would be preparing as per division 2 so on that count you need not require to worry now the problem is that if you remember last class discussion if jet limited would have paid the consideration to demerged entity it would have been a case of common control without an out of doubt and without any further what we call discussion if jet limited would have delivered the consideration to the demerged entity in that particular case it would have been a case of common control However, when the consideration is delivered to the members, we cannot jump over to the conclusion whether it is a case of common control or not. Correct? So nothing is given actually in this question that whether any member is having more than 52% stakes in the new company or not. 
if it would have been given it would have been very easy for me to consider it as a case of common control the problem arises actually because yes in the last session i told you when consideration is received by the members then it could be a case of common control provided one of the member holds more than 50 percent stakes in the new company then again it would have been a case of common control however if none of the member actually holds more than 50 percent stakes in the new company it cannot be a case of common control however most of the time we will see in the examination question is quite silent when consideration is given to the member so my sane advice to you in that case you better take the assumption that it is a case of common control presuming that one of the member is having what we call more than 50 percent stakes in the new company it is always better to write your assumption later on in the note or before starting the question so we are presuming that one of the member is having a more than 50 percent stakes in this particular entity hence it is a case of common control correct so we will solve this question now presuming it to be a case of common control as i told you why because nothing is given but consideration is received by the members and if question is silent we always presume rather it is a general tendency to presume it this way around that one of the member is having more than 50 percent stakes in the new company so presuming it to be a case of common control now we start our solution if you remember in the last session actually we talked about first of all we will prepare the journal of journal of ab limited ab limited is the demurst entity it is the demurst entity so first of all i am going to actually pass the and do the accounting treatment in the books of ab limited if you remember in the last session we talked at length lots of sheets are falling over here just wait Rough sheets are also there that creates a bit of problem sometimes correct so journal of ab limited in order to prepare the journal of ab limited first of all i have to think very clear very coolly which division actually i am selling of b limited when i am selling the division of b limited indirectly it means i am selling off all of its assets and liability to this particular entity and it is clearly given in the question that this entity is going to give us a consideration of 50 lakh so my first entry with first entry will be with respect to transfer of asset transfer of assets and liability transfer of assets and liabilities of division b to z limited really sorry actually i do not know sometime you switch on ac you start feeling this way in very nauseating sometime anyway transfer of assets and liabilities as far as transfer of assets and liabilities are concerned this will be our first step so we will now check in the check the question and try to consider all the assets and liabilities of division b limited this is the balance sheet of division b limited they have got loans worth rupees 600 lakhs correct and they have got current liability to the extent of 800 so two liabilities are there and they have got two current two assets written down value <laughs> written down value is actually 200 and current asset value is 1000 correct written down value is 200 of uh, uh, what we call property plant and equipment and at the same time we have here current asset uh, 1000 and current liability 800 and loan 600 these are the four items so first of all i will write here as i told you in the last session we are preparing the journal of demurst entities we have sold the division we have sold the division to jet limited for 50 lakhs so first of all i am going to debit the jet limited simply because we have sold our division and we are supposed to receive 50 lakhs so jet limited is a sort of data for us correct then we will first of all put off here liabilities all our liabilities we have transferred our loan 
we are going to de-recognize what we call all the liabilities and all the assets of Division P, quite naturally. In order to de-recognize the liability, I am going to write here loans. Now, loans is equal to 600. Then I am going to write current liability. Current liability is equal to 800. Correct? Current liability was 800. Let me check actually. Current liability is 800 and loans is equal to 600. Correct. Now I am going to write here 2. Assets. One asset is in the form of property, plant and equipment that is fixed asset having a gross figure of 1000, less depreciation 800, return down value 200. So I can simply write here fixed asset or property, plant and equipment that is 1000 minus 800, 200 net value. Then current asset. Current assets were to the extent of 1000. Current asset, 1,000. Current asset, 1,000. Correct? This is the position. If you remember in the last session, we also talked about this particular fact. That after having passed this particular, after having passed this particular entry, there could be a possibility of what we call some figure, which might actually appear as a balancing figure towards this side or towards this side. If the figure would appear over here, it will be considered as a loss and on the contrary, if it would appear over here, it will be considered as what we call profit. I will write here profit on sale. Profit on sale, if you remember, these are the terms which we used earlier. Profit on sale of division, I can write it this way or I can write this way, profit on sale, profit on Reconstruction. Ultimately, this profit will be transferred to the capital reserve. So instead of writing, you can straight away write capital reserve because otherwise one more entry you will have to pass profit on sale of division account debit to capital reserve because ultimately this profit will be transferred to capital reserve. So it is better to write a straight away capital reserve, correct? That will save you some time. 1450 minus 1200 will give you 250 will give you 250. So this is how my first entry will be. Now the next entry will be with respect to consideration. If you remember, problem is that Jet Limited is sort of our data. Correct? So many times you have done the treatment that when daters fail to pay you, you used to write bad debts account debit to daters account. Here daters are not failing. Jet Limited has paid the amount to the members but problem is that that amount will not be received by AB Limited. Since Jet Limited has discharged its liability, so no more it can be considered as data. So we will have to credit it. I am going to write here to Z Limited, isn't it or not? I am going to write here to Z Limited 50. Z Limited has discharged the liability to the members. There's a different matter that you did not receive the amount which you were supposed to actually receive because you have here debited Z, Z Limited in the sense means uh, you were supposed to receive 50 lakhs but they have paid the 50 lakhs to the members. So it is again a loss for you. So that is why you are going to debit capital reserve. You can also write here other equity or reserve and surplus. So capital reserve 50. Because I am having a balance in capital reserve, that is why I am debiting capital reserve. That means I could have written here two other equity or two reserve in surplus, one and same thing. Correct? So why it is a loss to you, you must understand this also. Because consideration is not received by you. In fact, these are the two entries which you are going to actually pass over here. Is it clear? So this is, I will keep this sheet over here now. After this, if you remember in the last session, we talked about this particular fact that under your second step, you are supposed to prepare balance sheet. Second step, balance sheet of AB Limited. Balance sheet of AB Limited after demerger. After demerger, 
now you are going to prepare the balance sheet. You can also write balance sheet of AV Limited after the arrangement, whatever you may like to. Uh, I do not know where I have kept my scale today. Well, I am not able to locate it. Sometimes it becomes a bit of a problem. Okay, I will prepare the balance sheet this way. First of all, I am going to write assets. Under Division 2, as you know, assets are written first. Then you write non-current asset. Under the non-current asset, you write property, plant and equipment, which is in the form of fixed asset given to you. I will write in bracket actually fixed asset. And net value I will write here. But uh, even in the last session, I told you preparation of balance sheet is the most simplest task. Because as far as AB Limited is concerned, one division is split off, is sold out. So that means this organization is left up with only division A. So whatever assets of division A are there, we are going to put. That means the net, net value of what we call fixed asset, that is property, plant and equipment is 50. So I am going to write here 50. Correct? Figures are in lakhs or whatever it is. Amount. Then we have in this case current assets. Now current assets as you can see of division A is 400. This division has gone out so we need not require to worry about that. As far as organization is concerned it is left off with current asset to the extent of 400 isn't it or not. So I will be writing here 400. Only two assets are there. So it is so easy. You can see now total of asset side we got within a flick of second. Isn't it or not. Within a flick of second, we got it. Now, the next one is equity and liability. Develop this habit of preparing the balance sheet. Equity and liability. As far as equity and liability is concerned, first of all, we write equity. Under equity, we write share capital. Needless to add that when I am going to write here share capital, the share capital of the organization will be written. Correct? Share capital when you prepare the balance sheet of what we call this entity, that is demerged entity, you will always consider share capital of organization, even other equity of other organization. So share capital is 50. Then, uh, figures are in lakhs actually, rupees in lakhs. And then I am going to write here other equity, e. other equity, other equity stands for reserves and surplus. Under NDS we call it other equity. I just a moment ago I told you other equity of entire organization will be considered. That means when you are going to write equity, you are writing 350, you are writing 200. That's a different matter. It is a negative balance. Why? Because when you sold this division, you are not selling their equity. We are selling only assets and liabilities. So, so this equity is still with us, although it is negative. 350 minus 200, 150. So 150 is the equity. Now, just a moment ago, we passed two entries, correct? These are the two entries. Here, we are having capital reserve credit balance 250 and debit balance of 50. So, it will be adjusted in other equity because capital reserve is a part of other equity. So, plus capital reserve 250, then minus capital reserve 50. So, on account of this, uh, 400 minus 50, 350. So, other equity which will appear in the balance sheet will be equal to 350. Correct? Now, we move over to second. Liabilities. As per Division 2, 
liabilities are reflected this way nowadays non current liability although we had non current liability in the form of loans but problem is that division a is not having any loans division b had the loans but division b is no more with us now so that is why as far as organization is concerned there will not be any what we call loans left so no non current liability now we will write here current liability now current liability you can look here division a is having current liability to the extent of 50 to the extent of 50 so you will write it over here so this way around you are going to prepare the balance sheet 50 so you will total it up you will get 450 you must have noticed so easy it is isn't it or not now we move over to step number three third step as far as third step is concerned you will have to pass first of all in the books of new company the entry in the books of x limited in the books of x limited you will pass entries so i will write journal <coughs> now sorry z limited actually not x limited now you presume you are the purchasing company you have acquired assets and liability from us so whatever assets and liability which you have acquired you are going to actually record them it is very simple assets liability acquired now you are going to note down which are the assets which you have received and which are the liabilities which you have assumed. So first of all you are going to write property, plant and equipment or fixed asset whatever you may like to write at net figure. Now we can look into this entry to pass this entry. Because property, plant and equipment worth 200 is taken over by this company. So I will write here 200. Then current asset they have taken. Current asset account debit. Current asset is 1000. So I will write here 1000. Current asset account debit. Then they have assumed our liability also. So I will write here to loan. They have taken loan worth rupees 600. They have taken our current liability to the extent of 800. Now if you remember, I talked about this particular fact in the last session. That under common control, all the assets and liabilities are recorded at book value number one. Correct? All the assets and liabilities are recorded at book value. Secondly, I talked about this particular fact that when we will pass the entry in the books of purchasing company, purchasing company will write here to consideration because it will have to pay the consideration irrespective of the fact whether this consideration is payable to the demersed entity or to the members of demersed entity. For Z Limited, is, it is a sort of liability. They are going to actually put uh, over here towards the what we call liability side. So, two consideration. Now, in this question, problem is that, and here some discussion is needed. In order to need the discussion, I need, right. Actually, it is given to us that purchasing company is issuing 2 lakh shares of rupees 10 each that makes it 20 lakhs isn't it or not further it is given that these shares are being offered at a premium of 15 so premium will be 30 lakhs so total will be equal to 2 lakh into 25 that is equal to 50 lakh. purchase consideration is 50 lakh no doubt about it It seems actually the change in climate is catching up with me. Anyway, consideration, consideration is, let me actually switch off the AC first. 
Hmm. Even AC is needed and climate is changing, so that is the problem. Sorry, really sorry. Uh, but anyway, we have to carry the story further. So what actually the point I was trying to tell you that the new company is offering 2 lakh share at the rate of 25. New company is offering 2 lakh shares at the rate of 25. Correct? And this amounts to rupees 50 lakhs. So quite obviously, logically I should write here actually how much? 50 lakhs. I should write here 50 lakhs. Now suppose if I am going to write here 50 lakhs, presume I have written here 50 lakhs. So it will be 1600 plus 800 plus 50, 1450 minus 1200, then balancing figure will appear towards the debit side. If I am going to write consideration 50 lakhs, that is at full value. So consideration amount is 50 lakhs. You why we need so much of discussion? Why we are not writing 50 lakhs? I will let you know in a short while. If I write here 50, quite obviously the balancing figure will be 250. Now, let me make it very clear. As far as end A as 103 is concerned, end A as 103 clearly states, actually appendix C, appendix C, which deals with what we call common control. First of all, you need to understand that. It deals with common control. Now, it states, one, that items acquired or liabilities assumed should be at book value, that we should be recorded at book value, not at fair value. We have recorded them at book value. Second important point is that no new assets should be recognized. No new asset should be recognized. No new asset should be recognized. You need not require to recognize any new asset. No new asset should be recognized. And that is the reason, that is the reason. Please pay attention. Whatever debit balance I will get over here, whatever debit balance I will get over here, I am not going to write here goodwill. I'm not right. I'm not going to write here goodwill simply because of this direction that no new asset should be required. I will use the word capital reserve. In fact, debit balance of capital reserve itself means capital loss. And when I write here goodwill, goodwill also means capital loss. But still, I would refrain myself from writing capital reserve. Although in some modules or some institutes, it is written as goodwill and I am not subscribing to that way. Is it clear to you why I have already told you? But still if some of you want to write goodwill, it is your choice. I cannot force my choice upon you. But the fact is that I am trying to give you a little bit of reasoning over here. Because of this particular line, I am refraining myself from writing your capital reserve. Number one. Number two. Now the next question is with respect to the fact why we are needing so much of discussion when purchase consideration or the consideration amount is 50 lakhs? So why I am not directly writing here 50 lakhs? Problem is that in AS 103 Appendix C, which deals with common control, states another line, security premium, security premium should be recognized at nominal value should be recognized at nominal value should be recognized at nominal value now because of this particular line actually i am not writing here because of this particular line so much of discussion is needed here instead of writing 50 lakhs you will wonder that i, am, I will write only 2 lakh into 10 that is the point you need to understand. Sir, if we are writing here 2 lakh into 10, it means we are recording only the shares at nominal value. That is 20 lakhs. Then what about 30 lakhs worth of premium? What about that? Now try to understand this particular point. If I would have written here 50, consideration amount as 50, I told you earlier, the balancing figure will be equal to 250 and we would have considered that figure as capital reserve. Before I move further, let me also stress upon one thing. 
irrespective of this particular fact, whether I write here 50 lakh or 20 lakh, in the ultimate analysis, no deviation or no difference in the ultimate answer will take place. I will tell you, because if I write here 50, the balancing figure will be 250. Correct? Capital reserve will be 250. However, if I am going to write here 20 lakh, not 50 lakh, because of this guideline, if I will write here 20 lakh, then capital reserve amount will be equal to 220. Then capital reserve will be equal to 220. Suppose if I write here 20, it will be equal to 1420 minus 1200, so 220 will become the balancing figure. Now, presume under the capital reserve, 250 and capital reserve 250 will come here only when I will write here share capital 20 and security premium 30. That is 50, I will write the full amount. Then capital reserve will be 250. But as you can see, ultimately this security premium is a credit balance and capital reserve is a debit balance. Finally, they will get adjusted with each other and net balance will be 220 only. So it is not going to make any difference. But only thing is that because this line states that security premium should be recognized at nominal value, directly or indirectly it means actually this guideline wants us to put consideration here only see here i am writing 2 lakh shares of rupees 10 each that means at nominal value i am not writing 2 lakh shares actually of rupees 10 each so 20 lakhs here i am writing so i am not writing the security premium i am writing only the nominal value and that 30 lakh will automatically get adjusted in the sense because now my capital reserve balance will be equal to 220 which would otherwise be in 250 if I would have written here 50. Is it clear to you or not? So some of you were asking me to put up a note regarding this. Now again here let me come. If you will look at as I talked about this particular point even in the last session. If you are going to look at it in two different modules, one module is writing here 50, another module is writing here what we call nominal value, but I subscribe to this view, it looks better because it looks more in conformity with this particular guideline. So point here is that even if you are going to write here consideration 50, that is not going to make any difference, then it will be 250, but automatically when you will write under other equity, they both will get adjusted with each other because security premium will also come under other equity and that is having a credit balance and capital reserve will also be a part of other equity. So finally, they will get adjusted. It is not going to make any difference, but it is better to actually write share capital at nominal value and ignore completely the security premium and that will ignore that doesn't mean we are not considering them that means it is getting automatically adjusted you need to understand it this way round too so assets and liabilities acquired we have now written this is the only entry now the next entry is consideration we have to discharge so we will now discharge the consideration now because i switched off the ac now i'm feeling a little bit huh so, okay, let me increase the temperature now. So, second. Second entry is discharge of purchase consideration. Discharge of purchase consideration or consideration. Now I will discharge the consideration. Correct? Consideration amount is now how much have we have credited it? We have credited it by 20. So I will write here consideration account debit. Consideration account debit 20. 2. And we have issued shares for the same to equity share capital 2 lakh shares of rupees 10 each so i am going to write here 20 lakhs this is how i am going to pass the entries is it clear to you or not hope now it is clear besides what we call this now i am supposed to prepare balance sheet and which again should not pose you any trouble so fourth step balance sheet of z limited 
balance sheet or Z limited. In order to prepare the balance sheet, first of all, let me write here assets. First, I will write non-current asset. Under non-current assets, I will write property, plant and equipment. That is your fixed asset. Now, this company has acquired fixed asset to the extent of 200 just we have written. Correct. Z Limited acquired property, plant and equipment worth rupees 200. They have acquired current asset to the extent of current asset to the extent of 1000. I think let me check. In the entry, we have written current asset as 1000. So I will write here 1000. So you can see now the total will become 1200. This is the total of my asset side of Z Limited. Then I am going to write equity and liability. Equity and liability. As far as equity and liability is concerned, first of all, equity I am going to put up here. Remember, you are preparing Z Limited's balance sheet. What is the equity of Z Limited? First of all, right here, share capital. What is their share capital? They have just issued 2 lakh shares. Isn't it or not? So, 20 lakhs. Share capital, 2 lakh shares they have issued to the members. You can just see here, 2 share capital we have written. Now, I will write here other equity. Since Jet Limited is the new company, they are not having any previous balance. So, they have just passed two entries and in entry number one, we got capital reserve of 220. I will write here 220. Now, I am. I just want to set the things clear. Suppose, suppose, and if you want, you can write so. Suppose, if I would have written here two security premium, correct? Two security premium 30 lakhs. Then this consideration amount would have been equal to 50. Correct? Security premium 30 I would have written here. But in that case, capital reserve balance would have been what we call 250. Now this is a debit balance. Security premium balance is credit balance. So ultimately net amount would have been negative 220. Is it clear to you? That is why it is not going to make any difference. But still my advice is to follow this methodology. Now second one is liabilities. Under liability we write non-current liability. Now this time non-current liability is there in the form of loans. Because Z Limited has taken our loans to the extent of 600 and current liability 800. Loans 600. What has fallen? Loan 600 and current liability is worth 800. Now, if you are going to total it up, 1400. Current liability is how much? Let me check it up. Okay, 800, 1400, now minus 200, it will give us 1200. So this is how the balance sheet will be prepared. And this is how we have to do the question. So you must have noticed that this particular topic looks actually a little bit tougher, but, but it is not tough. It is not tough because it, in the last session, we discussed all the nitty and gritty. And if you are well aware of all those things, I told you even in the last session that you can manage the question of your own. You let me know very honestly. I'm putting so much of efforts, but unfortunately not getting the sort of feedbacks which I'm wishing for. So you need to actually provide your uh, feedbacks too. So after having completed question number 2.1, correct, now we move over to question number 2.2. .2. I will give you some hint. Try to do it of your own. Enterprise Limited has two division, laptops and mobile division. Okay. Question number 2.2. .2. First, let me write here. 2.2. .2. Now, in this question, what is the situation? Situation is there is an entity by the name of Enterprise Limited. So, I write here Enterprise Limited.
enterprise limited is having two divisions which is given to you one is laptop division Another one is mobile division. Correct? Further, it is given to us that laptop division has been making constant profit while this division, mobile division, is suffering from losses. As at 31st of March, so and so, the balance sheet of the two divisions and of course of the organization, as was given in the last question, so similar to that you have been given over here that fixed asset actually you better write property plant and equipment anyway fixed asset is 250 at gross figure and depreciation is there the net asset is given to you net property plant and equipment is 25 and 100 and of the organization is 125 similar to the last question current assets are 200 500 and current liabilities are 200 400 and 425 and total with respect to what we call net assets and net working capital is given then further it is stated that these assets are financed by way of loan funds so these are the loan funds capital is given to you surplus uh, surplus is nothing but other equity or profit and loss account whatever you may call it remember one thing when you will sell a division you will sell only the assets and liability and not its equity Division Mobile along with assets and liabilities was sold for 25 crores to the Turnaround Limited, a new company who allotted 1 crore equity shares of 10 each at a premium of 15 per share to the members of Enterprise Limited in settlement of the consideration. This time purchase consideration is 25 crores and 1 lakh shares are being offered. 1 lakh shares of rupees 10 each but at the rate of 25 because one share is being given at 15 per share premium so all in all we will have 1 lakh share into 25 that makes 25 crores so purchase consideration is 25 crores one of the share members of the enterprise is holding more than 52 percent share holding in the company so this time it is clear that it is a case of common control so we have to do all those things which we did in the last question correct this is your enterprise limited laptop limited mobile division is being sold mobile division is sold to turn round limited sold to turn around limited turn round limited and the significant point is that Turnaround Limited made the payment to the members. To the members. It made the payment to the members as far as consideration is concerned. However, in this question it is given clearly that one of the member holds more than 52% share. It is given that one member, one member holds more than 50% stakes in turn round limited. So quite obviously this time this will be considered as a case of common control. Is it clear to you? So when the case is of common control under step number one, what we are supposed to do? We need to prepare the journal of the demersed entity. This is your step number one. First step. Write here journal of. Enterprise limited. That is demersed entity. Demersed entity. Is it clear to you or not? So, first of all, you write your entry number one will be with respect to what we call amount, with respect to assets and liability of mobile division, which you are actually selling to turn round limited. But first of all, don't forget to write turn round limited. Turn around limited because you are selling one of your division to turn round limited 
and you are supposed to actually receive 25 lakh <coughs> correct then you will look into the column of mobile limited and extract all the what we call liabilities similar to the last question loan amount however this time is 300 and current liability amount which we just saw was 400 I'm talking about mobile division if you look here carefully this is mobile division and the loan amount is 300 as I told you and current liability of mobile division is actually 400 and their assets net value is 100 and current asset is equal to 500 correct so I will write here now to property plant and equipments net value 100 I will write here two current asset that is equal to 500 so our liabilities and assets have been taken over any difference will be considered as profit but instead of writing to profit on sale straight away you can write capital reserve I'm writing here capital reserve because whatever profit would have been there I would have ultimately transferred the same to the capital reserve isn't it or not so that is equal to 125 is it clear to you now under the second is in fact now your second entry will be with respect to consideration the problem is that consideration consideration will not be received by you so it will be considered as a loss to you you will write here capital reserve you can write reserve in surplus or other equity also but because there is balance in capital reserve it is better to set off your loss against this capital reserve account debit to turn round limited because turn round limited will discharge its liability so it cannot be considered as data what we call further turn around 25 so 25 crores worth of loss you will have to bear all figures are in this uh, crores so these are the two entries which we pass after that we are supposed to prepare the balance sheet now we'll prepare the balance sheet under step number two second step balance sheet of enterprise limited or demerged entity enterprise limited after demerger so after demerger now we are going to prepare the balance sheet correct now you please let me know how I am going to prepare the balance sheet. Please quickly let me know actually what I should write first. So write assets. What sort of question you are asking? Okay. First of all, let me write assets. What should I write then? Current asset or non-current assets? Non-current asset. Okay. Property, plant and equipment. After demerger balance sheet, I am preparing. So I am left off with only one division. Left off division, mobile division has been sold out. I am left, I am left off with left off division. So I will just have to look into the column of the left off division, and I will have to see the net value of the property, plant and equip, property, plant and equipment that is fixed asset, and which is twenty five. Correct. Then only one more item is there, that is current asset. Now current assets of the division which is remaining with us that is uh, left of division because mobile division is sold out and current assets are equal to 200. So you can see so easy to prepare balance sheet. It is not a very Herculean task. Isn't it or not? So once the grounding becomes a strong as I keep on harping upon the same string do you know the meaning of this phrase? harping upon the same string a string you must have seen in guitar you have got strings and when you touch those strings you get some vibrating sounds time and again so harping upon the same string means repeated repeatedly saying something 
So I keep on harping upon the same string regarding the fake that it is always better to move slowly, but your groundings and the basics should become absolutely unwavering, solid and formidable. Once it becomes so, as you can see, such questions which gives jitters to others should be like a stroll in the park for you. So now, second, equity and liability. As far as equity and liability is concerned, equity and liability, you will write here first of all equity. Under equity, I will write first of all share capital. When we write the balance sheet, when we prepare the balance sheet of the T-Must entity, the share capital of the organization and other equity of the organization will be considered. So, I will have to look into the column of organization, that is total column. And here it is written capital is 50 and other equity is 150. So, I will write here capital 50. 50 crores it means. And then I am going to write other equity. Other equity balance is how much? Other equity balance, it seems, I have, I have looked over here actually in the previous question. Let me actually check it up. Capital is actually 25 and other equity is 75. Sorry, extremely. Actually, I looked into 2.1. This is 2.2. The capital is 25, not 50. Capital is 25. So, it will become 250. Don't worry about that. I have got all the arrangement with me. You can see here. I will erase it out for your convenience. Correct? It is 25 only. I have got all the arrangement. Don't worry. 25. Now, other equity is 75 as I told you. However, the entries which we have passed, capital reserve is getting credited and at the same time debited by 25. So, first I will add capital reserve 125 credit balance. Then I am going to subtract 25. So, ultimately in the outer column, I will write 175, correct, 175. Then, I will write here, liabilities, don't write it straight away, non-current liabilities. I will write here, non-current liability now. However, there was a non-current liability in the form of loans, but no more it is, because... The division which we are left off with is laptop division. And laptop division is not having any loans. Current liability. Current liability of laptop division is 25. So 25 plus 25, 50 plus 175 will give us 225. So you can see preparation of balance sheet is not a tough nut to crack. Correct? Provided you have got your basics absolutely right. Now... Third step. Third step is with respect to journal of new entity, journal of turn round limited. Turn round limited is your new company. The preparation of journal of new company is quite easy. Whatever asset it has taken, it will record it towards the debit side. Property, plant and equipment they have taken at a net value of 100. <coughs> Current asset worth rupees 500. They have also taken our loans to the extent of 300. They have taken our current liability also to the extent of 400. Now, coming back to the same position. Two consideration. When you write here two consideration, because it is a case of common control, it is better to not write separately premium. Consideration. Simply look at the number of shares which you are offering 1 lakh and you consider only the nominal value. So, instead of writing 25 crores, you will write here 10 crores. Correct? 15 crore will automatically get adjusted. 
because now the debit balance which earlier would have been high will be low correct so now i will write here capital reserve i am not writing goodwill time and again i am saying so because in modules you might see here word goodwill is being written but i told you earlier why because as per appendix c no new asset should be recognized so if i will write goodwill it means i am recognizing a new asset although debit balance of capital reserve is synonymous to goodwill now just have a look if suppose i would have written here 15 suppose if i would have written over here 15 then balancing figure would have been 125 but now it is 110 so that means this 15 is automatically getting adjusted so it is not going to make any difference whether we write here separately or not correct so next entry is discharge of consideration so you will write here consideration account debit consideration account debit 10 crores to share capital because consideration is discharged by way of 1 crore shares of 10 each so 10 crores and finally the last step which you can manage it by yourself also fourth step and here we have to prepare the balance sheet balance sheet of turn round limited isn't it or not balance sheet of turn round limited when i will prepare the balance sheet of the turn round limited quite obviously first of all assets then i am going to write one non current asset i am going to write here property plant and equipment i have taken property plant and equipment worth 100 i have taken current asset second current asset equal to 500 so that will give us 600 so easy to prepare the balance sheet isn't it or not yes sir now we are feeling confident i hope so that each one of you are feeling very confident now to tackle these questions second equity and liability equity and liability as far as equity and liability is concerned first of all i am going to write equity under equity we write share capital what will be the share capital of turnaround limited it's a new company it has just offered one crore shares of 10 each so 10 crore b other equity it's a new company so no previous balance in other equity however capital reserve is having a debit balance capital reserve is having a debit balance so i am going to write here 110 as debit balance is it clear to you then i am going to write here liabilities under the liabilities i am going to write non-current liability in the form of loans because they have taken our loans so 300 and then i am going to write here current liability current liability is equal to 400 so 300 plus 400 700 minus 100 will be equal to 600 so this is how we have to go by so we'll finish up this particular section section number two in the next session i think for this particular session it is more than sufficient and i hope so even though i was not feeling well but i hope so you must have enjoyed it and if you will continue your patronage, your support and your willingness, this is the most important one. I will definitely continue with my lectures and uh, depending upon your feedbacks and all. So, on such note, we finish up this session and it's a good time to say good night from here in Delhi. God bless you, no doubt about that. And looking forward to meet you in the next session.